One last question, um, and again, just a general opinion on how to handle any situation that is involving renters that are already in the place and right. the owner uh, wants to sell, but uh, doesn't want to displace the renters. Right. Well, those create some good opportunities for you out there. First of all, I've bought a ton of houses over the years from absentee owners who had, you know, somebody in there and they didn't have the cojones to go out there and evict. They don't want to evict. It was their aunt or something, their cousin, and they don't want to cause a problem. They're better off just selling the house and let me deal with it. That, is, that gives you a golden opportunity to get a cheap house in those cases. If somebody wants to dump their problem on you, you want to drop that price on them to make it worth your while to handle their problem. So those, those can be golden things. Those are, those, are not, those are not bad things. Those are good things. Now, if they want full price um, and they want to leave a tenant in there, then you know, you've got to think about it and we have to go through the actual numbers to see if it makes sense. But you know, a lot of it depends on how long's the tenant been in there, how long do they have yet on their contract, um, you know, because when you have a tenant in there, it's going to limit your exit strategies, right? Okay. So I need, you know, I need more details to give you good, solid guidance on that. Uh, but generally, just, you know, in the, the ethosphere, you're going to be better off uh, if you absorb somebody's problem and you can get a big discount as a result of that. Um, that's you'll probably have a better deal that way than anything else. So I would not shy away from that. In fact, I'd look at those kinds of things as opportunities.